Hi everyone, this week we are going to work on playing Star Wars. I hope you've already looked in our Google Classroom in the resource folder or in the week 34 folder for the copy of this music. Uh, the first thing I want to do, I actually don't really want to look at the music for a moment. I just want to practice what I think is the hardest part of the song. And the hardest part of the song is where we repeatedly, well twice, go G F sharp E, four, three, one. So let's just play that a couple of times on your D string, G, F sharp E. Ready, go. G, F sharp E, again. 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 Four, three, one. Okay, once you've tried that a couple more times, you can move on to the next part of it. The next part of it is connecting it to your high D on the A string. So this time, you're gonna play high D on the A string, four on the A string, and then G. We're just gonna practice hopping our hands from the A string to the D string. Four fingers on A is high D. Four fingers on D is G. High D, G. High D, G. High D. Okay, once you get that under your fingers a little bit better, you can then add back in the G F sharp E. So we're going to play this. High D, G F sharp E. High D, G, F sharp, E, so join with me. High D on the A string, G, F sharp, E on the D string. High D, G, F sharp, E. 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 It feels a little silly to play something that might not even yet sound like Star Wars to you, but that section is pretty important to the song. It happens two and a half times, kind of, and it's much more difficult than you think, especially the faster you go. So I really recommend playing that over and over again until your fingers learn what that feels like to play that part. The next thing we're going to do is look at the first line and it kind of explain some of the music you're looking at. So looking at the copy that I put um, into the resource folder, you can see a bunch of letters on four different lines. The letters represent the notes that you're going to play, and there are two types of letters on the page. There are lowercase letters, and there are uppercase and underlined letters. If a letter is uppercase and underlined, that means that it's on the A string. So in this song, you see some A's that are uppercase and underlined, and that's going to be open A. And you see some D's that are uppercase and underlined, and that's going to be high D, which you just played a number of those. Otherwise, most other notes, the lowercase ones, are on the D string. But the very beginning of the song starts with a lowercase a. You might have thought earlier that this was an open a because it said a. But it's not capitalized and underlined, so that tells me that it can't be on the A string. So it actually is a new note. It's one on the G string. And one finger on the G string, red finger, is A. So you're on your second lowest string and you're putting your red finger there. Those are the first three notes. Let's just sing the first line first. I'm going to do finger numbers. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but that's what I'm going to do. Um, singing line one. Ready, go. A, 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 D, A. Let's do it again. Ready, go. A, 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 D, A. If you notice, that's one, 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 zero, zero. So very slowly, we start with one on the G string, one on your second lowest string, red. Ready, go. A, 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 open D, open A. Let's do that again. One on the G string, ready, go. A, 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 open D, open A. It's arguably the simplest line of the song, but the other lines really aren't that much worse. At the end of this line, and every line, you're going to use the time that you play open A to get your G ready. Don't just sit there and think about nothing and daydream. Use the time while you're playing your open A to get your G ready. Let me demonstrate by playing the first line again. And while I play open A, I'm going to get my G ready. I'm gonna tunnel. Here's line one, starting with A on the G string because it's lowercase. Ready, go. A, A, A. 
So for the next line, I'm ready. I'm gonna do that one more time. Beginning, ready, go. A, 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 D, A, get my G ready. So then I'm ready for the second line. Let's now sing the second line. It should feel pretty familiar because you played most of it a number of times in a row at the beginning, but let's sing it anyways. I'm gonna do finger numbers, you can join me if you'd like, but I really recommend at least singing letters. Line two or line three, they're the same. Ready, go. G, F sharp, E, high D, A. Let's do it again. Ready, go. G, F sharp, E, high D, A. One more time. Ready, go. G, F sharp, E, high D, open A. Let's play that line two now. D, uh, G on the D string. Ready, go. G, F sharp, E, high D, open A. If you look closely, as I played open A, I got my G ready. Like I said a moment ago, every line in this song that ends with an A, which is three of the four of them, you need to use that time wisely and get your G ready. Let's play line two again. Four on the D string, G. Ready, go. G, F sharp, E, high D. Open A, get your G ready. Now play the next line. It's the same. This is line three. Ready, line three. G, F sharp, E, high D. Open A, get your G ready. Now the bottom line is slightly different. It doesn't go G, F sharp, E. It goes G, F sharp, G. G, F sharp, G, E. Sing that with me. Go. G, F sharp, G, E. Again. G, F sharp, G, E. Let's play that. Ready, go. G, F sharp, G, E. Again. G, F sharp, G, E. Let's now sing the whole thing from the beginning. Starting with our low A, you can tell that it's a low A on the G string because it's not capitalized. And I said earlier that if a note is capitalized and underlined in this song, then it's an A string note. And this first A is not capitalized or underlined, so it can't be on the A string, so it's our A on the G string. Let's sing the whole song. Ready, go. A, 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 D, A, G, F sharp, E, high D, open A, G, F sharp, E, high D, open A, G, F sharp, G, E, and then it repeats, so do the beginning again, A, 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 D, A, G, F sharp, E, high D, open A, G, F sharp, E, high D, open A, G, F sharp, G, E. It's very important that every time you play open A in this song, you use that time to get your G on the D string ready. Every time in this song that you have an open A, the next note, is a G on the D string. Let's play through the whole thing. We start with our A on the G string, red on the G string. Ready, go. A, 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 D. A, get your G ready. G, F sharp, E, high D. A, get your G ready. G, F sharp, E, high D. Open A, get your G ready. Now it's different. G, F sharp, G, E. And here it repeats, so get one on G. Go. A, A, A. bow this. I recommend doing it pretty slowly because otherwise your fingers are going to get jumbled. And I also added a link in the description of a video someone else made that looks really cool. It looks like an old video game and it allows you to play along and play Star Wars with them. I will also mention that in the video um, there's a moment where they uh, ask you to pause it to look at a finger chart and in the finger chart is for violins and violas. So the E is right, it says one finger. But for the F sharp, it says two, and for the G, it says three. Those are violin and viola fingerings. You know that your F sharp is three and your G is four. You can also look at the piece of uh, the, the copy of the download that hopefully you got from our resource folder, and all those finger numbers are correct because I made it specifically for cellos. Um, but the music all sounds the same on the video, so play along with it. It's a lot of fun, um, and I hope you have a good time. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me, and I hope you have a great week.